John with the National Audubon Society. And I'm here today to talk to you about window collisions and how to prevent collisions in your home or apartment or wherever you may be right now. The simple fact is that birds collide with windows because they don't see glass as a barrier. They either see it as a clear passageway to things on the other side, or they see the reflection in the glass and think it's reflecting habitat that they're, they're flying more toward. So you can see that in this window here, how reflective it is. Now the scale of the problem is massive. Uh, it's impossible to know how many birds collide with glass a year, but researchers estimate it may be up to one billion birds in the United States alone per year that collide with glass. So while the scale of the problem is massive, there are also solutions, and I want to share some of those with you today. So when we're talking about preventing birds hitting glass, there's two things you can do. You can either prevent them from hitting glass, or you can make the glass more visible to them as a barrier. Um, window screens, for example, are a great way to prevent birds from actually impacting the glass. And so if you put up window screens and keep them on year round, that's one solution. But I'm going to talk to you more about how to make glass a visual barrier so that birds perceive it and then can avoid it. Now, one thing, there's many ways you can approach it. There's just putting, creating a visual pattern with things you have around the house is certainly a way to do it. You may have decals or stickers, string, paint, any of these things can work. One thing that generally doesn't work is the, are those hawk silhouettes that you may have seen on large panes of glass, a single hawk silhouette. And that's because birds don't perceive the overall glass as a barrier then. And one thing that we try to adhere to is what we call the two by four rule, that the gaps that uh, exist in a pane of glass shouldn't be any more than four inches wide horizontally or two inches wide vertically. And that's because birds will see those kind of gaps as passageways and will fly toward them. So if we can keep our gaps on the glass coverage small, then uh, the birds will perceive it as a barrier. So again, there's a lot of ways you can, you can create patterns on glass. You can do things with, if you have um, tempera paint around the house, you can do a fun project. Our project, creating a nature scene or something on your window, that's a great way to do it. Um, one of the things that's important to remember is to keep it on the outside of the glass because again as you can see if you had a pattern on the inside of this glass it's very highly reflective and a, a bird wouldn't see that pattern necessarily on the inside so keep it on the outside. Now I'm going to use tape today. I pre-cut a bunch of tape that I'm going to create a pattern on this window that has uh, again, we adhere to the 2 by 4 rule. The, the tape is about a quarter inch um, wide, so I'm just going to go ahead and put it on the window, and you can see um, how that works. So again, I'm just uh, adhering to that 2 by 4 rule, and I put the tape vertically in this pattern here. Okay, so one thing you can see now is that while there may be passageways in here, the general frame of the glass is broken up and voila, I have a more safer window for birds. Um, again, you can use lots of different um, things to create this kind of visual barrier. Be creative and do things that um, will reflect your own personality and will make birds see your house um, for what it is, your home, but a place that's safe for them. If you need other tips on this, you can visit the Bird Friendly Communities page on audubon.org or any of the resources listed below. Thanks.